Welcome back to The Ship on Kansas City Radio ESPN. I'm Kelsey Nicole Nelson. Filling in for the great Darren Smith, I am back on Radio Row in Miami with Keith Ismail from San Diego State University. Keith, how are you? I'm doing great. How are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm great. We're on Radio Row. No complaints yeah. in South Beach. Like, I mean, can you feel any other way? <laughs> no. Doesn't feel like it. So first off, is this your first Super Bowl experience? Yes, ma'am. How are you feeling about that? Um, a little overwhelmed, but yeah. really excited. It's, I mean, seeing a lot of famous faces, some people that I really look up to, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Talk about some of the famous faces that you saw that kind of were just awe moments for you. I, I just took a picture with Lil Nas X, which yeah. was really cool. He was a really cool guy, but um, I just saw Joe Montana, like, not too long ago. A legend, yeah. Yeah, I grew up in San Francisco and a Niners fan, yeah. so obviously I'm happy, one, that they're here <laughs> this weekend. Yeah. But to see him, I, you know, yeah. my, got a little... Little fangirl. <laughs> Nothing I'm wrong not with excited. that, right? I'm not excited for sure, yeah. <laughs> Which is exciting. A little Nas X. I'm sure he's one of your favorite rappers, possibly. Uh, yeah. I mean, I like. He's his, a big deal like right his, now. The one song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old Town Road, right? Yeah. Now we need Billy Ray Cyrus to pop up, and then I think we'll all be happy people. Yeah. It's such a fun experience. I always love seeing everyone kind of come together for the Super Bowl moment, but also for the new draft class. I think everyone gets very excited. So first off. Vegas, mm -hmm. the draft, mm -hmm. the boats, everything. It seems like they're doing it up. How are you preparing for the NFL draft? Um, right now I'm training at Michael Johnson Performance mm -hmm. in Dallas, Texas. So I'm just working with a great staff there. Yeah. Um, they're just, you know, getting me right. Technique, yeah. getting me stronger, faster, more explosive. Mm -hmm. So just trying to lock into my work, you know, work my craft and just be ready for these teams. Nice. And tell me, I mean, how did San Diego State University kind of prepare you for the next level? Uh, we ran a real pro-style offense. A mm -hmm. lot of, we ran the ball a lot. So just being in that system allowed me to – we had a lot of NFL carryover. watched a lot of NFL film. I just yeah. got back from the Senior Bowl last week. Yeah. So it was really easy for me to pick up the playbook and the schemes that um, the Bengals coaching staff gave us. It yeah. was very similar to what we ran at my school. So mm -hmm. I know it will be a, a pretty good transition yeah. uh, from the college level to the NFL level. Yeah, you seem confident. I like that. It's kind of like the next step. You have to be. You have to be, right? Yep. And so at your position, are there any players' techniques that you kind of look for in your style of play? Uh, I love watching Jason Kelsey from the Eagles. Mm -hmm. um, athletic guy, yeah. strong, can move in space, smart. So all of my attributes, my strengths, and I feel like yeah. we share a lot of things. But I like to just take points from a lot of great players in the league, you know, get as much knowledge as possible right. um, just to – add more tools to my toolbox yeah and it sounds like you are so it's, I mean when did football kind of become a dream for you and being here in this moment probably later in my high school career mm -hmm. I didn't always start out as the best football player you know yeah. it was hard yeah um, long days you know it's a tough sport mm -hmm. but I really developed a love for it probably towards my junior senior year when I started getting recruited more heavily mm -hmm. and then you know just got to college and uh, the NFL wasn't my first you know, thought, my first yeah. thought was graduating. I and mean, my parents emphasized yeah. that ever since I first got there. <laughs> Education first. Yeah. Everything else will fall into place later. So I was just trying to focus on finishing school. And then, you know, I kind of realized I was kind of good at this football yeah. thing. And, uh, <laughs> That's really why you're here to, now, right? Yeah, <laughs> so I, I really just started to love the game, love yeah. every process of it, you know, the preparation, yeah. um, the grind, you know, putting in that hard work. Yeah, I can tell it. It's just, so what led you to go to San Diego State University? I was close to home. You know, mm -hmm. my family and friends would come see me. I could get back there. Uh, they had my major before I switched. What was your major? I went in as an aerospace engineer. Nice, okay. But I, I switched out. Uh, yeah. To international security and conflict resolution. Okay, nice. Yeah, so why so the change? Got That's a big difference. So like, first it sounds like NASA possibly. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I, oh, I thought nice. I wanted okay. to work on rockets, go out in space, yeah. and you know, build planes. But <laughs> I just, I saw the, the environment I was going to be in, mm -hmm. and I, I just, I, that wasn't really my passion. It was kind of something that people told me to go do, you know, gotcha. engineering. That's where the money is. Right. But I really realized my passion is going to help people. Mm -hmm. you know, I want to get out in the world. Yeah. Uh, make a difference. And so this will allow me to do that. I want to do humanitarian aid work. Nice. Maybe for USAID or the, you yeah. know, the UN. So, um, this is a good avenue to do that. Yeah. I love that. My little sister is a freshman at UMBC and okay. same major, same thing. She wow. wants to do like USAID and yeah. uh, just help people travel the world and help. So thank you for that. It's, it's important. Mm -hmm. And I think now too, we see that a lot with football players and really athletes. I think the CSR initiatives part, that's why we have the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. And so that's it's right. more than being an athlete. And so kind of speaking on that, I feel like, I mean, what do you think an athlete is? Is it more than just sports? I mean, how does, how does community service we, play into we that? We just have such a, a large platform. Mm -hmm. Um, we can influence a, a whole lot of people with even just a smile. You know, you can be walking down the street and you've, obviously you might not know who that person is, but they know who you are and they right. look up to you. 
and you just giving them your time of day can really lift someone's spirits up. And, uh, you know, we just have such a large platform to do so many good things. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously, as high performance athletes, you know, we, yeah. we get paid a lot of money. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's good to give that back, mm -hmm. you know, give that back to the people who are backing you yeah. when you can. Well said, well said. I think LeBron James said it best, more than an athlete. Yeah. And talking about being more than an athlete, we have recently, unfortunately, had the passing of Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. And really a lot of talk has been not just him as a great player, fantastic player as a basketball player, but also his efforts off the court as a dad, as a philanthropist, as a businessman, and so much more. So just your thoughts um, on his recent passing. I grew up watching Kobe. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm a Warriors fan, yeah. you know, growing up in the Bay Area. Yeah. But, you know, just watching him as just one of the greatest basketball players to ever touch yeah. the court. It was sad. Yeah. It was sad, and it's unfortunate mm -hmm. for sure, but he left a great legacy. I right. think his daughter's passing was probably the one that hurts most. It's yeah. just she had her whole life ahead of her, and she had a whole lot of potential. And I yeah. remember reading something, you know, Kobe said, he, you know, he hoped to die young, mm -hmm. but only because he's done so much in his career. Right. He did so many things. He touched so many hearts and lives. And so, you know, he had something to be proud of, to look back at. Yeah. No regrets. I mean, yeah. if I was him... He's probably looking back like, you know, I did so much for this yeah. world, so much for the sport. So many people look up to him, but I think Gigi was really the one that hit home for a lot of people because yeah. she just, she had all the potential in the world. And, mm -hmm. you know, to have a, a young life, a beautiful soul get cut short, it's right. just really unfortunate. Yeah. But, hey, they're in God's hands now, you know. Oh. You know, many blessings to their family and the families that also lost their loved ones. Right. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, Young Mamba, rest in peace to yeah, both of them. So sad. Them. And really everyone that unfortunately passed away sure. on that plane. All right, so now we're going to turn tides and talk the big game. So I already know who you have winning, right? Because you're, <laughs> you're from the Bay Area. I so for the, for, the, for the San Francisco 49ers, tell me why they win and how big they win. Defense. Defense. Defense wins championships, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> I think our defense has been second to none yeah. this year. And um, I think our D-line is going to get a lot of good pressure on Mahomes and uh, – you know, they're just going to show out. And yeah. if we can run the ball really well, mm -hmm. you know, keep keep the ball in our possession, control that clock, yeah. and just grind it down. That's what we did at San Diego State. You know, yeah. we weren't as flashy on offense, but we ran the ball, ran the ball, and, you know, right. third, fourth quarter, teams yeah. would crack. Yeah. In a game like this, I think really two two really good teams, mm -hmm. it all come down to the power of will. Who yeah. wants it more? Mm-hmm. I love it. And so defense, a lot of talk has been around Richard Sherman. So I want to hear yeah. your thoughts on what he's added to the San Francisco 49ers team. You know, a lot of people kind of hated Sherman just mm -hmm. the way after, you know, the Crabtree thing. But yeah. as a football player, as a competitor, yeah. more than that, I understood where he was coming from. You know, he plays with such passion, such heart. And I know in the locker room he brings that too. And I'm sure he's inspiring the guys. Yeah. And he puts his heart and soul into everything that he does. And yeah. so... Uh, he's just added that flair in the secondary that I felt like we've missed maybe for, you know, the last couple of years. And yeah. I know he's an experienced veteran, and he's probably leading all those guys out there. Nice. Well, perfect. Well said. Well said. Final score? I don't know. I don't want to say. <laughs> you don't want to say. I'm not it, good right? at that. Yeah, no. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Before I let you go, where can people follow you and find out more information? Instagram, uh, KI6X underscore. Okay. Twitter, underscore. K-I-6-X. All right, got it. You're one of those complicated ones. But nonetheless, <laughs> make sure to follow. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, my pleasure.